What's up, y'all? It's the governor, John McLaughlin, with the Abacas. And I'm just coming through tonight to do a short video. Um, just wanted to speak to y'all out there. And this one is going to address some of the reasons that people don't want to learn the markets. Um, some of the reasons people are apprehensive about putting themselves out there and getting on this journey. Um, so I've been, you know, pushing the Abacas for several years now, as if you've been my friend any length of time, you know. And, you know, so you, you, you run into a lot of people that, you know, show some interest, um, but then kind of never follow through or and things like that. And I get it, you know, I understand. But I just wanted to try to address some of the some of the some of the questions and just some of the thought processes thought processes that go into people not wanting to go down this path. Um, so I think it starts um, with a lack of knowledge, and um, I'm not trying to you know I'm not calling people stupid or anything like that. But in general, people just don't understand the power of what they're missing out on. Um, you know, they probably do, in a sense, understand the power because, you know, the whole perception, as I spoke in my last video about, you know, the markets being for rich people and things like that. So in that sense, people know that it's powerful and it's a tool that people use, um, but they don't think it's a tool they can use. They don't understand that even as somebody who doesn't already have a large amount of wealth, it's still a powerful tool. In fact, it's a more important tool for you than it is for for the people that already have money. They can do all types of things. They can start billion dollar businesses. They can buy up millions of dollars um, worth of property. They can, you know, they can do all sorts of schemes with their money to make it make money. Now, they the stock market is probably the best one. Um, but they have a lot of different avenues, you know, for, for regular folks, you don't, you know, it's not that easy to start a huge corporation. It's not that easy to buy up a bunch of property and flip it. It's not that easy to do these other things. Whereas with the markets, as we spoke about in my first video, you don't have to come in with a lot of money. It's really all about returns, the percentage return you generate on your money, not what you start with. You know, if you start with two hundred and fifty thousand, two. I'm sorry. If you start with two hundred and fifty dollars, and you can compound that at uh, earn fifteen percent on that two hundred and fifty dollars every week, you'll end up with over three hundred thousand dollars in a year. Okay, so let me repeat that. If you can start with two hundred and fifty dollars, and you compound that at fifteen percent a week, you will end up with over three hundred thousand dollars in one year. Okay, so then just imagine continuing to do that the next year and the next year. Um, so I just don't think people understand how much impact it can have on their own life as, you know, a quote unquote regular person that isn't already rich and isn't already wealthy. Um, so then on top of that, you know, and some of these reasons I talk about, some of them might apply to you. All of them might apply to you. None of them might apply to you. So just take it, you know, as a shoe fits. Um, but then the next one would be you know, maybe laziness or maybe complacency. And what I mean by that is um, you're just kind of not willing to step out. You're not, you don't, you're not willing to take a chance. You're not willing to risk anything. Um, that's what I mean by complacency. So people aren't willing to, to risk um, changing their life that dramatically. You know, because it does take in a large amount of focus and discipline, you have to change your priorities in terms of how you spend your money and all those types of things. And some people are not willing to do that. Um, now, I would counter you that it's no bigger risk than just going to a job that doesn't guarantee you job security, doesn't guarantee you a salary for your whole life, and just assuming that, you know, going through those motions for your whole life and you know, just living, you know, this kind of boring, repetitive, cyclical life of doing the same thing over and over and just hoping that it gets you to the end. You know, that's basically what most people do is just hope to get to the end of the road um, without something tragic happening before you get there. Um, so I don't really see how learning these markets, trying to change, uh, trying a different approach is any more risky than, than just doing the same old routine. 
in terms of laziness, I would say a lot of people might, even if they if they have the knowledge, say they do understand how powerful the markets can be. They don't want to. They don't want to learn it themselves. They don't want to do it themselves. So I, I've had you know several people ask me, you know, can they just give me money, and you know I do something with it. And a, no, I can't because that's illegal. Um, and number two, that's not what that's not what the Abacus is about. You know, that's we're not about trying to take your money um, and flip it for you. We're about empowering people with knowledge. Okay. Um, and again, comes down to people's, you know, willing to put themselves out there, commit their time, commit their energy. And a lot of people, they don't want to put in the amount of work because <clears throat> it is, a, it is work. You know, it's not necessarily hard. Um, I've said that before. It's not necessarily hard to learn it, but it does take time. It takes dedication. You got to put in hours. You got to put in days. You got to put in weeks. Learn. You got to put in years learning this, mastering it. You know, making mistakes, practicing, understanding what you're doing um, before you really hit. You know, the goal, um, and that goes with anything that you try to do. Um, so then, you know. Third, I would say, more specifically with the Abakas, a lot of people are just skeptical of joining some group, you know, that maybe they aren't really familiar with. They don't know who all is in the group. Um, a lot of people probably look at the Abakas as an MLL, MLM scheme. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not an MLM scheme. You know, we don't tell you that you are going, we don't, first of all, we don't guarantee you anything in terms of, um, what's going to happen after you take this class. That's one reason why I feel like you can trust the Abacus because we're not going to sit here and tell you that, um, you know, nothing is guaranteed to you. It's up to what you make of it. If you come into the Abacus and you learn the information, like I said, you dedicate time to mastering it and understanding it, then you will have success. That, yes, you will. But I'm not going to guarantee you that just by joining the Abacus, you're magically going to get there. Because it's up to you and the amount of time and effort that you put into it. Um, in regards to the MLLs, MLM scheme, is definitely not one of those. I mean, I'll be upfront and real. You can monetize it by teaching it and spreading it to other people, but that is not how the wealth that we talk about is generate uh, created. So when we talk about creating generational wealth, we're not just talking about signing up people for the Abacas and that's how we're creating this generational wealth. And oh, if you join the Abacas and you sign up 20 people, you're gonna be rich. That's not necess That's not what we say. You know, so can you monetize the Abacas? Yes, you can. But that is not the principle of the Abacas. The Abacas is about teaching knowledge, providing a service. We provide a service, and that service is equipping you with the tools to create your own generational wealth. Okay, we're going to equip you with the knowledge of how to pick great companies to invest in. We're going to equip you with the knowledge of how to trade. So make income on a day-to-day -day basis through trading options. Um, we're going to uh, equip you with the knowledge of how to capitalize off of IPOs and how to capitalize off of recessions and how to capitalize off of situational investing and so on and so forth, cryptocurrency, etc. Um, so, you know, you can join the Abacas. You can never sign anybody up if you choose to. And you can still be on the path to generational wealth. Signing people up for the Abacas is not a requirement um, to getting to the generational wealth we create, that we talk about creating. Um, now, is this something we encourage? Because that's how we feel like we can change our situation um, is by, you know, each one teach one, as, as they would say, you know, and you can spread it to the people in your circle and that would uplift our whole communities by doing so but it's not a requirement to get on that path to generational wealth um so then i'm at, to just sum it all up um i think you know it comes down to fear and skepticism all right people are are fearful of putting their money on the line people are fearful of stepping out of their comfort zone people are fearful fearful of changing their routines and their habits um and like I said, uh, you know, in a couple of posts before, it's ironic because, you know, people, generally speaking, I don't want to say aren't happy, but I mean, the mass majority of people 
would not necessarily structure their life the way it is if they didn't have to. If they didn't have to go to a nine to five every day and work for 50 years, et cetera, et cetera, most people would not choose that. They, I mean, very few people would probably choose that if they could just wave a wand and change things. They probably would. They would set up a different lifestyle for them. The problem is that we get in these cycles of, you know, habit and you know, once you've been doing something for however long you've been doing it, you know, depending on your age, whether you've been doing it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, once you get in that habit, it's really hard to get out of it. And it's scary to get out of it. It's scary to change your mindset. It's scary to change your spending habits. It's scary to, you know, have the goal of not 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 working for anybody. Um, even though we complain about these things, they're somewhat comfortable. They're so, they're somewhat comforting, and that we know what to expect day to day. Um, and kind of what the Abacus preaches kind of pushes you out on that limb where you can have that freedom to do anything, any day. And um, it can be somewhat fearful. Uh, you know, it can be somewhat scary in a in a way um, to 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 try to do that. You know, to put yourself out there and 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 risk, you know, risk, um, you know, those, you know, the the effort and the time. Um, but anyway, hopefully, you know, that made some sense. Hopefully, there's people out there that are not already in the Abakas listening, and I definitely encourage you, you know, to go on and make that leap. Uh, you know, in my opinion, we what do we have to lose, really? In, in my opinion. Even if you came into the Abacas and you lose a little bit of money, um, I mean, you, you you won't be really any different than where you are. I mean, it's highly doubtful that anybody comes into the group and just puts so much money, you know, on a trade or something that they are changing their whole financial future in terms of, you know, people ain't going to come into the group and just drop $100,000 on a trade and then lose it and be like, oh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm screwed. So that's just not kind of how it works. So it's like, what do you have to lose, you know, really, besides, you don't, you know, some time and some effort, you know, and what I would say is that if you put in some the time and the effort, you'll realize the power of what we're doing and what we're teaching people. And, um, you know, you'll really start to see what it's all about. So um, with that said, hopefully, you know, I didn't ramble around too much with that. Um, but I definitely encourage you step out your comfort zone, you know, try, give something different to try. You know, don't be scared to to uh, accept a little risk, you know, because nothing great happens without risk. You know, if you never risk anything, you're never going to gain anything. And I don't use risk in the sense that the Abacus is a risky thing in terms of, like I just said, like it's going to, you know, make you homeless or something like that. I just mean risk in the sense of <clears throat> stepping over that line of fear, you know, stepping past that fear and saying, I'm going to do this. Um, it's about self-belief. That's what I wanted to get to right there. It's about the self-belief. Um, and that, that's, that, I'm glad I just thought of that because that's where I wanted to end at. The, the fear is, what if I don't succeed? What if I don't learn this? What if I can't learn this stuff? What if I don't understand it? What if I fail? Okay, worst case scenario you fail and you right back in the same you in the same situation you're in now and it wasn't won't make a difference you have to believe in yourself um that's one thing about the abacas is we believe in ourselves we believe in each other we believe in your ability to understand this information and to do something with it you know you have to have that belief yourself okay so the system is kind of designed to to suppress that belief and make you think it's impossible and make you think it's hard. Um, but it's really, it's, it, it, like I said, it's not easy per se, but it's also not hard. It's just a matter of dedication. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of effort. That's all it is, really. If you put in the time to learn, you will be successful. If you put in the time to master something, you will be successful. It might take you a minute. It might take you a few repetitions, but that's all it is. And so 
that's uh, what I'm going to leave it at there. You know, have some belief in yourself. Believe it's possible because it is. And um, if you want some information about the Abacas, give me a shout. You know, I'd definitely be glad to talk to you about it. Um, I have a link on my page uh, where we can set up an informational session, a free informational session where we can chop it up. And I can tell you more in depth about the way the Abacas works and answer any questions you have about it. Um, so definitely reach out. Let me know, and I hope to uh, hope to have you guys join us on this path because I gotta say it's it's a beautiful thing, the Abacus. It's one of the most beautiful movements that I've that I've seen during my 37 years of life. So I want you to come join us. I hope you come join us. Um, in the end, it won't make no skin off my teeth either way. But um, this is something you can do. And it's something you should do because it'll benefit you, it'll benefit your family, and it'll benefit the people around you, thereby benefiting your community, which is the whole point. So, like I said, reach out to me if you want some more information. Hope you all have a good one. Bless.